Hey everyone, I'm Todd Stevens. And I'm Ross Miriam. And you're watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. All right, let's go. We're here for Friday. The thing that we've all been waiting for, and by all I mean me. I don't, who are I'm you? I'm excited. I don't even know who you are. I think you said something about like a merry man. I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> so we're here for Brawl, <laughs> and we're playing this for the first live recorded Brawl of all time. Probably not, but we're claiming it. We stuck our flag in on Monday. Yep. Yep. Claimed it on Monday. We've claimed it yep. for the two of us. So definitely the first one. So uh, I know my commander. I don't know your commander. They right. call commanders? Conquerors? Yes. I don't know. For commanders? those who are still unaware, Brawl is a newly f new format. Uh, it is commander, but with only standard legal cards. You can use a Planeswalker as your commander. That is another change. And 60-card decks. Yep. So uh, commander with a much lower entry point for people that want to play the fun multiplayer singleton kind of format, but don't have a million dollars for all these really expensive commander cards because right. the format's gotten so popular. You get to play... Uh, Less expensive decks, much less powerful decks too. There's none of that. Like, there's basically well, right, I mean, none standard. of like the turn three combo nonsense. You don't have to worry right. about any of that. And we get to build around a lot of sweet new cards, cards that wouldn't make it in uh, in regular commander. So and it awesome just, format. It just makes sense to like whenever you're like drafting at your local store to like just kind of get you know get your cards while you're drafting and kind of build up towards a, a towards brawl deck. Brawl deck. Yeah. So that just so makes sense. We have brewed a couple sweet ones yeah. and. I, you can see up on the top of the screen what commanders we were playing with, but now we will reveal them to each other. You want to do it on three? Yeah. One, two, three. Wow, Yeheni. Ooh, okay. Oh, so you're going to be sacrificing stuff? Getting a lot of... Ca Ooh, indestructible. Yeah. Classic Todd, just blue-green value nonsense. Yep, blue-green value nonsense. Uh, so this is a legendary pla Planeswalker. They changed that. It doesn't yes. say that here, but you have to use a legendary Planeswalker, which that is. Wait, so. they're all They're all the Planeswalkers are legendary. Yeah, well... Right, over here. So the other important thing about today now is that we're tied up 2-2 on the week. I had a 2-0 lead. Mm -hmm. I've let it slip away. Uh, and now we are playing the new format with our new decks for all of the marbles. Can't wait ready to turn to go. three Nissa. I'm on the play. Yeah, you're going to turn, turn three, three Nissa, Nissa against Miami? I don't know, man. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see how that goes for you. Okay. I wonder if we got any lands. Okay, there we go. Uh, ooh, this hand seems pretty good. We got a nice little curve here, ready to brawl. All right, my hand could go really bad, but we need to land in our first three draws. But we'll we'll try it out. Okay, I will play a Desert of the Glorified. Pass. You were so proud with that. <laughs> All right, best possible draw. Go. So proud. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna play a Metallic Mimic. I'm oh. Not sure what I want to name. Um, <coughs> I I don't know my list particularly well. <laughs> also, we do start at thirty life. I don't know if we mentioned that. Oh yeah. yeah, it's just like commander. I don't even have my 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 dealy done well. I'm going to name Servo. I could name Vampire to help pump this, but I wanna I wanna play for the long game. I'm gonna name Servo. Servo. Pass the turn. Todd's just gonna have like natural state here. Man, that'd be great. <gasps> Wow, I think I have to do that. I think I have to get this mimic off the battlefield, even though it's it's kind of a bummer that this is gone. But I think we're gonna ballista on one and shoot that. Sure, go. Uh, I want you making a ton of two two servos over there. Okay, well now my henny's not gonna be able to be a three three to stop that Nissa, so I'll get an energy off this. Give, give me that. And then I will play an Aether Sphere Harvester and go to three. <coughs> Pass the turn. Okay. So I would love to play Nissa down here, but we obviously can't in the face of a Harvester. So we're going to have to start doing some other stuff. Wait on that Nissa. Um, I think... All right. So we're going to want to be able to double spell next turn with these. Actually, I'm just going to lead... Yeah, I think I'm just going to lead with uh, this Ronus. I'm past turn. Get that going. Okay, then. Ugh. 
Um, hmm. Sorry about that. Well, this Ronus is going to be a problem. And yeah, it is. I've, my three lander is now <laughs> missing land four. Uh, so I could do this to help, like, get me towards more lands, or I could play the Yeheni and start trying to, uh, start trying to get somewhere. The thing is, with this Ronus down, I might have to race pretty soon. I think I'm going to go for the Yeheni play and start getting some beatdowns. So let's crew. I'm going to give it lifelink, too. Okay, so I'm so, going to 27. You're going to 33? Yep. Okay. Pass the turn. I forgot you're at 20. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Or they're at 30. This whole 30 life thing is the thing that's going to throw me off. I built a really sweet aggro deck, and then I was like, I can't play this if they have 30 life. <laughs> it's, just, it's just too much life. Okay, we don't really have very much. I think we need to start just getting some value engines online because we don't really have anything. So let's do that. Let's get a uh, search for Escanta. Yep. And a. All right. Should, should be good. Should be good. Yeah. Um. Uh, good. Having some technical difficulties here because. Todd's a doofus. Pause. All right, so how's this going? We doing okay? Yeah. I don't know what's up with your... Like, they get, okay, can't let's see. Okay. It's fine now? You got me, got me fine? It's fine now, but... Okay. Have to Back in. <laughs> yep. It might be the jacket. Is it the jacket that's, like, rubbing against no. it? Or, yeah, it could be. Yeah, honestly, it could be. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Keep, keep going if it's fine. All right, we're good? <clears throat> okay, okay, so we're getting our search trust Kanta in, and... Um, I think we're gonna get a treasure map down as well. Go ahead. Okay, so that was nice. We hit land four. Um, and now I will play a treasure map. Nice. I'm gonna crew and mush no light link this time. So okay. you're at 24? Yep. And I'll pass the turn. All right, upkeep. I'm just going to do the search for Escanta trigger. These don't really stack a ton, so we'll do, do search. Um, I mean, you just always do the search first, and then if you bin it, then you can decide whether or not you want to map. Otherwise, yeah. you draw it first and then map. Actually, I guess I'll just bin it. All right, we're going to bin it. Draw. Sure. Okay. Um, you control with the counter. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right, we're going to play, leave this island up. Play Rishkar. Some counters here. Sure. So I can start tapping, tapping this Ronis for mana. And green that for Chandler Initiate. And I'll go ahead and put the three counters on this. Sure. So I can still tap it for, I can still tap this for mana with the Rishkar if I would like and mm -hmm. not remove a counter. No, it has minus one, minus one counters on it. It says no. each creature you control with a counter. With a counter. With a, oh, wow. With a counter. So that has a counter. Sure. Um, That's neat. Yeah, that is kind of neat. All right, go ahead. It's not relevant because I'm pushing your thing, but... Okay. That means my Yeheni gets a counter, and then I will scry with map. Um, I like this card, so let's keep it on top. Harvester is definitely going to be a problem. We have to find something for it. Uh, why don't some this Rishkar walk the plank? So let's get a second counter on you, Henny. So much removal. And uh, it's got to be like all the removal in the format. <laughs> Attack for four. Okay, put me down to 20. Brings you to 20. Pass the turn. Uh, search. Yeah. I do want this, so we'll keep. Um, kind of want to land drop. Yeah, I definitely want to land drop. So let's let's go ahead and strategic planning. Sure. 
This can also help us flip our search. Ooh, this could be a good card. But man, that, that means we don't hit our land drop here. But even not hitting a land drop, we can still just kind of play our thing and scry one. This card's probably... That, that card's just too good to pass. Okay. So we could we could play our thing we could play this thing and attack with Ronus. Which that may not be bad. Or I can just kind of wait and scry one. No, let's let's play this thing. Alright, so we're gonna play this thing. Sure. And I'll have this get plus two. Yep. And then attack for six. I'm at twenty seven. Alright, your turn. And a turn I will scry one. Yep. Um I don't think this is what I need right now. So let's bottom that. Then upkeep scry one and flip this. Uh, this seems great. So I will keep that. Uh, got your treasures from earlier? Yeah, I got my three treasures. I've drawn that card now. Um, I am going to uh, mush you for four. All right, down to sixteen. And Uh, improvise Battle of the Bridge for six on the Ronus. Okay. So it gets minus six, minus six, you gain six? Yeah, I'm at 33. Okay. And, oh, I should have done that first. Take five. <laughs> I, do, okay. I do that first and then I get another counter. Okay. Okay, let's pretend I did that correctly. So you're 15. Okay. You can go. Scry. I do want that. I think, yeah, I'm just going to take this. And I'm going to flip as Kanta. I just want some more mana. Sure. I'll play this here. Um, so I'll get him for two. I'm at 31. I will... He's blue-blue with those. Uh, Brawl's Expertise, bounce that, that, and that. And a treasure. Sure, I'll and then, yeah, that can either go back to your hand or the... I think you get to choose which zone you want to put it back It'll in. It'll go back in my hand. Okay. And then I can play something that costs four or less. I'll play Vizier of the Menagerie. Yep. And... I wonder if I could play Nissa off that. Can I do that? No, it's from your hand. Well, even if from you your could, hands. you would be casting it for from zero. From your hands. <laughs> yeah. All right. Even if you could, you'd be casting it for zero. Okay. All right. Um... And uh, go ahead. This is my top card for those of you at home. Which is a big combo with that walking blister. That's what I wanted to do, but. Okay, I am going to play a harvester, getting two energy, and then a ballista for one. Okay. And then I'll pass the turn. All right, I'm gonna scry this to the bottom. You know, I'd love to have it. All right, upkeep. I can, I can just look at my top yeah. cards. I can see if I want to scry it or not. Which I do want to scry that. So, upkeep, scry. Yeah, I don't want that card. It's kind of nice being able to look at my top card. Oh, man, I don't want this one either. But I guess I have to take this. Take this, see if we have anything we can cast. No. Now, we're, are we on a Nissa plan? Yeah, so Nissa, we get to go for four, plus it up to six. So that seems like that's our our plan right now. So let's go Nissa in play up to six. Scry two. Definitely going bottom and bottom. And I will pass the turn. Uh... So it's really nice you can see the top card with Nissa if you want to like zero and put it in. Yeah, that is not bad. Yeah. So why don't we put an end to that? What? With this ravenous chupacabra. Oh, come on, son. 
No. In response, looking. Okay. And then I'll crew this harvester, and you can deal 10 with that. I'll just attack the Nissa, and okay. I'll give it a lifelink. All right, so, so Nissa down to three. I'm at 34. Yep. Pass the turn. All right, upkeep. I do not want this card. Scry to the bottom. Flip this. We have three more treasures over there. We got some treasures in like one of these piles or something. Uh, I've got one treasure. That's good All enough. Right. There's one. One more? No, I don't think we have any more. Oh. You you get this. Enough. All right. <clears throat> I get that. Okay, now draw step. Yep. Tilt. Um. I think I just have to plus two this. I don't. I mean, I could just zero and just see. I do have a lot of like creatures in my deck, and I know my last like seven cards were lands from like all the scries and stuff. So it's probably not another creature, or it's probably not another land. But if you That's... zero, then you're vulnerable to the harvester. Right. But then I just get to play it again the next turn for just attacks too. That's true. It is your commander. So. That's the other nice part. Um, I think, uh, well, so if I'm going to scry anyway, I'm probably just going to activate this Ascanta. All right, I just drew this crappy land. So might as well activate the Ascanta first. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's, and then it'll also gives us a little more information on what to do with the Nissa. So let's activate Ascanta. <laughs> Three more lands. So, uh, sounds like you put too many lands in your deck. Yeah, sure does. <laughs> okay. And then... Uh, Search for Escanta is another card that Todd tries to put in every deck. True. I just I just threw three lands down the bottom and did some scrying and stuff. Turned into a land. It's gas. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and so you, how many cards do you have? I have four. We know you got Yehenny. Yeah, you just know the Yanny. You don't know the other three. You can kind of like all right, I'm gonna plus. Yeah. Hmm. Those cards are pretty bad. I don't know if I have a good card in my deck <laughs> after like sending nine cards to the bottom that I wouldn't want. Um, okay, that seems pretty cool. Um, and so much for a value deck, I'm sitting with zero cards and you have a million. Yeah, well, my decks are great. <laughs> I just killed all your stuff before you gained any value. I know. Was, this was zero. I just got to look at, like, a land every time. Um, no creatures on top. Okay. I'm going to play animation module. I'm going to put another counter on here. I'm going to get a servo when I do that. All right. Let's get a reader. All right, when one or more one counters are placed, you pay one, you get a servo. And then three, choose a counter. Okay, so you're paying five total. Yeah, to do all that. Yep, checks out. Uh, and then and then I, using this to crew. Yeah, I'll crew the harvester and attack Nissa for five. Yeah, and I'll block the chups. Yep. Uh, I'll I'll get lifelink again. So I got a thirty-seven. Okay. You can go. Oh, I guess I should. I can use this to crew. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Drop. Yep. Tilt. Um, let's plus two. Let's see what we got going on. There we go. Okay. Those are actual cards. All right. One or, you have five in hand? Four. Four in hand? I think I just do... I think I just do this. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... So that's a lot of mana. So, what are you what are you trying to do to me? All right, so we're gonna have to treasure cove draw card. Yep. And then four. I'm going to Commit your walking ballista. I wonder if I get, need to get rid of this heart. No, probably ballista. All right, commit ballista. All 
I'll deal you one in response. Okay. Any redirect? No. You can go... Actually, yeah. I'll redirect. No, because that's on... No, you're good. You go to 14. All right, 14. All right, and then I'll use another treasure and shuffle them up. Shuffle up graveyard and library. So I have to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, these ten bad cards, I have to put them back. Still definitely not, this is not putting me ahead or anything, but it's at least helping out, because I had nothing and you had stuff, I presume. Now, I don't know the rule, but I believe you could just put Yeheni back in your commander zone, I don't know. Not when it's in my hand. Okay, now it's in your hand, you can't transfer yeah. it. Then. That's Sweet. like the way you do it. If they let it Very go back in their vector. So you have dealt with my commander. I've not dealt with this harvester. And then you get to untap and use all the mana, so. You get the first turn. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, does me casting Ballista trigger animation module? <laughs> no, because it's whenever the 1-1 one -one counters are placed on a permanent. They're not placed on when no, it enters with so. it? No. Is no. that not a thing? No. I was also hoping you did not draw that card. <laughs> I I would say no. Yeah, Judge well, Todd over here. I'm going to draw a card. Oh, wow. He needs to find something else. That's a good one. I just have one. Well, it, it doesn't matter now, but we'll try to figure that out. I'll play this for one. Play Herald of Anguish. Yeah. <laughs> Is that good? No. Crew the Harvester, and uh, I'm going to attack you for three. All right, down to 11? Yep. And step, you discard a card. Pass the turn. It, it does? Count? Yeah, okay. That's right. what I thought it would, but I, I oh, took it in. Hmm. Kind of need. Uh, I'm at 37. Todd's at 11. All right. I will also be drawing a card. Sure. Should I scry first? Actually, I'm going to do. I think I'm going to want to scry first. Yeah, I'm going to scry first. Sure. Hmm. All right, so I I don't want this card. Well, maybe I do want that card. Yeah, maybe I just need both of these. I don't know how this is going to work. So really wish I had something a lot better to play with this. Because I'm definitely doing this this turn. But I kind of have nothing for it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, potentially. Okay, just have that. I really want to find something for that. But mm. I would be very impressed if you won this game. My hand is quite good. And you are very far behind. True, on all accounts. Okay, I think I think I kind of need this. I think I need this to protect this. But I guess I'm not even going to be playing this. I need may need this to protect this. No, maybe we just can't. Yeah, finding finding something to win here. I think I found out my deck needs better ways to win the game. <laughs> Classic Todd Stevens deck building. <laughs> I need more rivers rebukes. You already have brawls expertise. Yeah, but I want a rivers rebuke too. Look at how good a Rivers Rebuke could be here. Yes, Rivers Rebuke would be quite good. Yeah, what was I doing? I need Entrancing Melody. I'll just take your stupid Herald Anguish. Thing is, you would play Rivers Rebuke, and I would just untap and slam Herald again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, got to make a play. Um, I feel like this card is going to be really good, and I'm going to feel bad for bottoming it. Um, I feel, but I think I'm just going to bottom it, because I'm getting greedy because of how far behind we are. Uh... I feel like this card's just crucial. 
and we need it, but it's also just awkward here. So I am going to be Brawl's expertise again. That costs five mana, though. Is that not five? That's five. And the thing is, I couldn't find like anything good for four or less. That's the problem. I just have a bunch of five drops. Like, and that was just another five drop. I assume this is getting bounced. Yep. <laughs> that harvester and servo could could bounce this module. That only costs one to replay, though. Yeah. I think I just want to get the servo off the battlefield. Sure. And then. I haven't played a land yet. I do have to deal with this ballista. Oh wait, oh that so I sorry, I do have this. Like that's that's all I got. Sure. Um so we have six, seven mana here. I think I'm going to I think I'll wait on the treasure cove and just go put this out down on three. And shoot the ballista for one. I will shoot you for one. Okay, down to ten. Man, I really should have kept that other card I bottomed. Good. Yeah. Go. Yeah, I definitely should have kept that other card. This game's hard. Walk the plank this ballista. Alright, shoot your treasure. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're you're down 35. to thirty five. Yeah. Play Herald. Yeah. And step, you discard a card. Pass the turn. All right, draw. Cards in hand? Three. Yeah, I really should have. I need to keep that card, man. Because there's a Blossoming Defense, you're just going to kill my thing. I really should have killed I really should have kept it. I think I'm just going to kill you. All right, let's... I think I'm going to just... No, let's draw. All right, we're going to draw. So, all right, I'm going to risk it. Zero. Yep. Wow. Why didn't I play my other stuff first? <laughs> that is a large creature. All right. Probably uh, two large creatures. Probably make two five five, so they both yep. rumble with the herald. Here you go. Yep. And I'll go to combat and I'll attack for five. I go to thirty. And I'll play a majestic Myri arc. That's the card I need to save. So this is now a six six. It's going to so. get Trample. And I'll play a boat. And I'll shoot that for three. Sure. All right, go ahead. Okay, well now things are getting... See, I think I need, I think I need Blossoming Defense for this. It's hard. Magic's hard. Oh, uh, I didn't play my land. Also, there's a commit memory somewhere in my deck. Whenever I get it, we'll, we'll exile it. <laughs> I shuffled it back in. If I draw it, I'll exile it. I drew a good one. Oh no, I can't. I can't handle a good one. I'm gonna play Weaponcraft Enthusiast and make two servos. Okay. I would like to go to my combat. All right. Um, yeah, I'll uh, crew this. Okay, so now this in first main, so this will yeah. be flying. Yeah, so this will right? be flying. That's the beginning of yep. each combat. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go to second main. Okay. And eliminate the competition, sacking these three, destroying uh, Gosh, why one, two, three. And then on my end step, you can discard a card. And I'll pass the turn. All right. Let's 
So many lands. All right, as uh, Kansa. Sure. Glimmer. Perfectly fine. Pretty happy with Todd hitting that one because uh, it'll probably mean my Herald will get them another card. It's going to be hard for him to get rid of three cards here. Glimmer. Yep. Scry two cards at the bottom. Yep. Draw two cards. Um, zero Nissa. Dang it, Rashmi. You've already cast your first spell, so... Maybe. Rashmi is not going to be doing much. Um, I just have four mana. I'll start to play this. So that means I'm going to have to discard this. No, I can't discard that. I have to. I guess I have to discard this. Oh man, this is just this is just a mess. I need one more mana. This Herald of Anguish, hurting. Yeah, it's a good magic card. All right, so if I play this, do that. It's just your end step, right? Yes. Okay. All right, I think my best line is. I guess I'm gonna have to discard this. Nissa minus three, get back boat. I think that's my best line. And I'll have to discard this banger. All right, go ahead. Oh wait, I can I can just yeah, whack you. Sorry. I'm a twenty-five. <laughs> so much stuff. All right, go ahead. Uh, that one's not very good. I had um, nothing in hand, and then and I drew a land for turn, and then I played a, a Rashmi and a Nissa, and I got these two cards in my hand. And played a land. <sighs> this deck's sweet. I'm one, I'm one damage short. Tilt. Heck yeah. Uh-oh. Scavenger ass. Uh... <sighs> I'm just trying to stay alive long enough to die. <laughs> well, I definitely want to... I definitely want to cast these two, and that's going to leave me a little short of casting this, unless I want to throw this treasure away, and I think I'd rather have a card. So, why don't I sack the... Oh. You're going to play boat. You're going to need to crew it with something to deal with this. I think I'd actually rather leave the treasure around just in case I want to sack it to Harold. So, let's uh, then just make the plays I'm thinking of. So, I'll play Yeheni. I will play Chupacabra, kill Rashmi, get a counter on Yeheni. Mm -hmm. I will... Attack you for five and Nissa for three. I have some Nissas over here. Or the the green Nissa. So you're at five. And then I will play a Doomed Dissenter. Wow. And pass the turn. It's pretty good, pretty good. Oh, uh, end step? Yeah, end step, you discard a card. I'll discard that thing. Sure. That one. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah. I really wanted to play that last turn. You know, make a sapling on my, like... Yeah, you'd get two saplings, then I'd kill it with Harold. you just have two 1-1s. One it's not that great. True. It's better than discarding. Yeah, I, I could have gone Chupacabra, kill this, get a third counter, use module to get another counter, but I was one, just one short. Zero. Um, cycle. Yep. That's Kanta. Yep. Brick again? I think you're... Yeah, I mean, that's all I got. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, you I'm like kill, kill this and then... It doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't have enough to, to deal with this, but this is five no, with yeah, the module. Like this, yeah, because I can only block one thing. Yeah. I can only block this because I have to crew. Yeah, I mean, this would, is only four, but the module makes it five. No, because this, this, the Chupacabra dies. It's only time. when your creatures die. Oh, really? Yeah. It's oh, not, okay. It's not that insane. Oh, okay. I thought it was just whenever any creature died. No. 
Okay, well, we only got one of our colors of mana if we draw into our other one, but yeah, well, we don't one, really need it. One so. thing I noticed from brewing for this format is that the mana is not good. No, it's like, it's like this is a fine seven, you know. Yeah. That's why I'm a one-color deck. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Pass. Hey, there we go. All right, so we could get we have some options. I'm going to get, I kind of want to get this little birdie out, but it's probably better. No, because I'm going to play, I'm going to play this next turn. I could play this next turn, though. And this could maybe help protect it. All right, yeah, let's get the little birdie out. There we go. Yeah, I have an actual bird. <laughs> Actually, is a birdie. Syndicate Trafficker. Ooh, that's a good card. Pass. Yeah, that's a good card. Um, Now it's up to Nissa or no? So just on board, like if it's Nissa, if I go Nissa, you go Yeheni, swing both. I can trade here, and it puts a counter on Yeheni, and Nissa only goes to one. It's not like great though. That doesn't sound great. I think my other option's not insane. It's just playing this card. That's probably better though. All right, let's go champion. Sure. Not a bad one. Hmm. I kind of want to discard this thing, but I know that can't be right. I wrote 2020 again on my life pad. Nice. I'm going to do that every time we play Brawl. Okay, I'm definitely discarding this. And then I think it's between one of these two. I think the, those are You important. were hurting for mana so bad last game. Now you're just discarding lands all willy-nilly. All right. Um, gosh, I really don't think... Discarding this treasure map feels pretty weird, but I think that's what I want to do. That's a good sign for Todd's hand. Probably means he's got... Lots of action. Go. Uh, okay, that's not a bad one. Uh, I am going to play Implement of Malice and attack. Uh, all right, sack it. Target player discards a card. Put into graveyard, draw a card. And this is sack an artifact, make it indestructible. Yep. Yeah. Right, I will Synergy. Not be, I will not be blocking. Uh, you can take three to 27. Okay. And now I have to think about whether or not I just want to blow the mal the implement. Maybe discard a card? Yeah, because you probably like have just enough lands as you want. I think it's going to get a spell if I sack it now, so I will. I draw a card. Get that two for one. Yeah, I got the Blossoming Defense. Game. Hmm. Let's go Nessa. Sure. Plusing up to four. Yep. Oh, Lord. Hmm. I kind of want to keep them just like this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to keep them just like that. Good. Yep. Oh, wow. That's a neat one. Okay, now I will play the Weaponcraft Enthusiast to get some servos and okay. attack your Nissa. Threaten lethal. I'll block with champion. I will sack a servo, get a counter. Pass the turn. All right, zero Nissa. Get that extra okay. land drop. Ha pretty happy to see an Evolving Wilds. Mm. So that's just a zero one? Yep. All right, I think I'm just going to do this. Yeah, go ahead. What is going I'm on? Just gonna, I'll just act this also. I have incense in my deck. Yeah. You might have, like, commit in your hand. Um, hmm. What do I want to do? I want to get the Yehenny down this turn. I'll play you, Henny. I 
I'll respond. Sure. I'll commit this. Walk the plank the thing, attack Unicef for four. Pass the turn. Yeah, if, right. you, if you wanted to, <laughs> which I think you do. So now this costs two more. Yeah. First time I said this one. You can go. Ugh, that's not what I wanted at all. All right, we just got to hit land drop now. So I'm going to glimmer. Okay. Here's your Jacob Ball. Yeah, I don't have any way to use that. You don't have any way to use energy in your blue green deck? Nope. You don't have like confiscation coup? Kind of surprised that you wouldn't? Nope. Seems like a good one. Kind of hit a land drop, but not quite. Go ahead. Put two cards, scribe two to the bottom. Okay, so now I definitely just want to get these down. Uh, so I'll mush you for four. You're 23. I'm going to need this Jacob Baugh, because I have an Aether Hub for one energy, and a Siphoner for another, and okay. a Ballista on two. And I'll pass the turn. You just have two cards in hand? Two cards. You got some sort of Wrath of God? No, obviously I don't have any Wrath of Gods. Yeah. I don't think you have Mind Rots either. My deck is great. Yeah, you just always have the removal spell. Yeah, I put all the removal spells in. <laughs> I didn't I did cut the Die Young. There's probably only like three removal spells still. No, there, there's Walk the Plank, Fatal Push, Vraska's Contempt, Never to Return, uh, Chupacabra, the one left in my oh, hand. Oh, yeah, the Chupacabra is just like the one that's just been killing me. Yeah, the, the one left in my hand. <laughs> all right. Oh, you're talking to me about removal spells. You have a Carnage Tyrant. Go. What a jerk. Okay, well, I know what this one is. So I'll pay a life on upkeep, go to 29. Yep. So I know what this one is. And then let's see what this one is. Not so good, but I guess I do have a way to... Uh... Seneca Trafficker. Like Trafficker and Yehenny team up to deal with a Carnage Tyrant, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love, I love the Yehenny Syndicate Trafficker. That's awesome. So uh, make sure I get this counter on because I got nothing else to do with my mana. This okay. still leave up one for Trafficker, which is nice, and attack with my mana creature and get another energy. Okay. You're 21. Yep. And I'll pass the turn. Carnage Tyrant's quite good. That's a card that can get Todd back into the scheme. Uh, one more mana would be nice. You already have six? Yeah, but I, I just can't. You know, just like throwing out multiple spells and everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just joshing you. Um... So I definitely think we need to get this down, which means we have to, we have to just play one of these. Just... I'm not. I'm not even playing Trial of Ambition. So I have so many more removal spells I could be playing. All right. So found out I did have something with energy. Forgot. So, so you have two energy. Where's the Jacob? Oh, I, I already took yours, but I'm sure. Yeah, I got another yeah, one over here. Got another Jake. Who's, who's your Jacob? All right. That's not bad. Champion cost seven. All right. Um, go ahead. Um, on your end step, I'm going to deal through this thing. Yep. Yeah, that was a big problem with that Ballista. <laughs> yeah. So now that way... had the same like, really good cards as last time. Like Ballista and... Ravenous Chupacabra, yeah. you've had those all the time. If I waited till my turn to do that, then Todd could accrue in response and add two blockers for the Siphoner. Right, but if you did it during your main phase, then after I accrued, you could Chupacabra that. Um, so that'd be like a problem with me crewing right away. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't... Oh, this gets a counter from that thing dying. Yeah. Sorry. So... Uh... Let's make sure to get this counter. I still want to leave up mana for Trafficker, so I want to add the second counter, but I will attack you for two. Let's get some separation here. Yep, so you're 19. at 19, I'm up to two energy. Yep. 
and I will pass a turn. Okay. Now we have Chandler, Initiate, and... Where are the counters going to go? Unfortunately, I have to put all three on the same creature. Yes. I wish you could split them up. That would make the card really good. <laughs> I I think I'd just have to put on the Chandler, Initiate, and just let it die, basically. Okay. It's just kind of a, a waste of a card, but I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. So play a Dryad. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so yeah. I got the Mammoth's Blessing. <laughs> Uh, I've got it somewhere, I think. Uh, right here. There we go. Got it. All right. Mammoth's Blessing. Sure. And I will pass to you. Uh, end a turn, add a counter, remove it to deal with initiate. This yep. goes to five. Right. Uh, on the upkeep, you get yep, a separately. dealie. Um, and I'll pay life to go to 28 and draw a card. Yep. And draw for turn. And... Okay, so how do I kill Todd this turn? Or not, maybe not kill him, but put him to very far behind. It's probably just with these two oh, cards. Already, already very far behind. So, why don't we... Um, Sack this to the trafficker. Play Vengeful Rebel with Revolt, killing the Dryad. Oh wait, I'm short on this. Hold on, we got we got to do this over again. I have a server. Uh, I thought I had one more mana than I do. So, um. Hmm. This makes it this makes it more difficult. Um Okay, I guess I just have to do it that way. Uh shoot this. Okay. Shoot you for one. You're at 18. This gets a counter. Wait, why would that get a counter? Isn't that just my creature? Oh, yeah, it's just your... Yeah, sorry. Okay. Kill this thing. Okay. This dies. No. I have to see blessing, right? Or is it... Oh, then whenever that dies, then that, that clause yeah. doesn't happen anymore? Yeah, it's just the ability of the thing. All right, well, then I'll create yeah, this. Yeah, sure. Uh, so now this is goes to five, and then... I was thinking, like, while well, the city's blessing was out, it was always... A... Maybe I, do, I just, I probably just don't even need to do this, right? That seems unnecessary. Oh, that this will probably be better, right? If I just tutor for that. Yeah. Okay. Diabolic tutor. Okay. And this is probably a bad use of diabolic tutor, but whatever. Uh, Fatal push the harvester. Because I had the bliss leaf. So now that gets another counter. Yep. And I will attack you with Yeheni and Siphoner. Get an energy. Yep, I'm dead. All right, we're here for the outro of uh, playing some Brawl for the first time ever. And uh, this is my blue-green stuff. Yeah, we wanted to give you all a chance to look at the decks laid out as opposed to the list. It's, it's pretty tough in a text list to look at a Highlander deck and figure out exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, laid out should give you a better idea. We'll start with Todd's. This is the first time I'm seeing the deck too, although I saw a lot of the cards in the games we played. Look looks pretty cool. Yeah, so some this some like nice. my yeah. Some of my last cuts, I wanted to make sure I had lots of creatures for Nissa. Um yeah. and even though I do have like a search that doesn't okay. actually get very much. Uh, where's that glimmer and commit? There we go. These two, sorry. Um doesn't actually get very much. Uh but I want to have those. Oh, I thought I was gonna play Ripjar Raptor. What happened to that? I guess I'd Ripjar Raptor is the four five, right? Yeah. For four. That doesn't seem great in your deck. Oh, I mean, we can like ping it and stuff. Um, the in your deck I don't like are these three. You're not really an aggro deck. I'd rather yeah, see... yeah, no, the, the Kenra was not good at all. Yeah, I'd rather see like Servant of the Conduit. I do love Marauder with Ballista a lot. Do love that. Uh, yeah, that's a, I mean, 
it's just it's a obviously cheaper combo. That, yeah, it's hard for you to assemble. Right, but that's also just a flyer. Um, but you're right, I'm not an aggro deck. Uh, I like but, pretty much everything else. This card seems really good in the format. Mm -hmm. Not sure about this one, although again, could just be combo with Ballista. Yeah, and just getting up. Um, but yeah, so you can see I just had like some some powerful top end. I just wanted creatures yeah. to be able to get with this. This uh, card seems great. Yeah, that card's insane. Love the and, expertise. And majestic. If I can just like get a few creatures out and everything. Yeah. I think um, if you had Rivers Rebuke and and Expertise, that would have been better too. Right. I think I should have had Rivers Rebuke and Entrancing Melody. Those were like two of my last cuts that I think I should not have cut those two cards. Yeah. Um, I don't think I don't think I need Azor's Gateway. I think that can go. That was actually like afterwards after I submit, I like was fooling around the deck again. I bet that's why I had Raptor and I don't think I had Gateway. Yeah. But I had already submitted the deck. Gateway and... seems kind of meh. Treasure map yeah. is great. I think most decks are going to be playing a treasure map. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I think every deck. And you, just have you a get to map. play Beastiary too, which is nice. Yep. Yeah. Beastiary would have been awesome, a turn three thing. But yeah, that would have been awesome. Uh, my deck, obviously, like Mono Black Sacrifice coolness. Uh, I think the cool thing about being black in this format is that there are three different Diabolic Tutors. Uh, I'm not sure if you want to play all three of them. The right is definitely great because it cycles. The other two are identical because there's no sideboards, but it does let me play like the module combo. I I drew some of the modules in game one and they weren't great, so I'm not really sold on them. Uh, but you do want artifacts to improvise as well. Uh, and there aren't a ton of, of really good artifacts. Like I'm playing basically every one you can have. Uh, and then uh, my curve is surprisingly low, which I like, like a bunch, seven two drops and a one drop as opposed to your five twos. You've got some others down there. Uh, and then black actually just gets a lot of removal. Like yeah. I get to play eliminate, so that adds one. Yeah, eliminate's awesome. Uh, but then like these five are really good, and then you have Chupacabra, and I get to play Vengeful Rebel really easily. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I have like eight removal spells and the Herald of Anguish and the Ballista. I have discard or tutors to find them. I have the Array too. So the deck has actually has a lot of removal, so I can grind pretty well. I've got a couple things to gain card advantage. You obviously gain sweet advantage with all of the, all of this nonsense too. Right. I, I did struggle as to wh whether or not I wanted to uh, start Bantu or Yeheni as my commander, and I went with Yeheni, and I liked that a lot. Yeah, Yeheni was um, awesome. The ability to pressure Planeswalkers that they have is really nice. This card is just sort of hard to get up and running. Uh, obviously, like, better if you're... Um, it's better if everything goes really well, but if things stall out, or if things don't curve out as well, then I think Yeheni's a lot better, and I'd rather plan for that scenario. It's also just really important to have a sacrifice outlet that doesn't cost mana. You know, it's all this conversion of resources, and to be able to just sack your entire board that you have with the Henny, uh, whereas Bantu, you would, really wouldn't be able to do that, I think is really important. Uh, I was really happy when I was going through Gatherer to find Pitiless Plunderer, because it lets me turn Bantu and Yeheni, my main sack outlets, into ways to generate artifacts right. that can go with Marionette Master. I wanted to combo you out with this in game one, but <laughs> it didn't, didn't draw yeah. the sixth land for a few turns. And then when I, you go monocolor, I also get access to a bunch of sweet utility lands. I, I have enough artifacts to play Mentor's Fair as another mm -hmm. like card, uh, another source of card advantage in the Arch of Roska, which maybe you don't even have in your deck if you're too worried about your colored mana. Right, yeah, no, I was too worried. It's another reason I like Servant of the Conduit, by the way. So I just have, like, some cycle lands, but that's about it. Yeah. Well, the Chandler Initiate's kind of like Servant of the Conduit, but... Yeah, I would just want as many of those yeah, as, I think, as you yeah, can get. I think so, too. There's there's a couple others I thought about. Like, there's, like, a two, like Druid of the Cowl. It's, like, two mana. Yeah, yeah one, I mean, that, that one might yeah. be fine. Yep. Yeah, you, probably you just had more of those. You definitely scraped the bottom the of the barrel. The Kenra was not worth like it. My, I think the like the two cards that I'm playing that aren't like all they aren't just great on their own are probably like are the, like the four cards maybe. I mean, this one's just so insane in the deck. Enthusiast is one of the, probably one of the best cards in the deck. So is Plunderer, but these two are just kind of like weak cards that aren't even great in the uh, in the deck. But they're not like they're just the last two synergy pieces. Uh, yeah, uh, I like them that this deck can play pretty aggressively, but still grind into the late game. So yeah, use Nissa. Um, think that yeah, the, having a some kind of sweeper with this deck would have been really nice. Rivers Rebuke would have been really really nice to have. I'm not sure if Nissa is better than Rashmi. How you you know you have your like yours two that you're going with. Rashmi yeah. could be uh, may, maybe a better one. Now whenever you if you just play your Rashmi uh, from your command zone, you're gonna have to untap before you start get, uh, triggering her, but. It's yeah. it. Whenever you play a spell, you basically cascade, spell. right? Your yeah. first spell cascade. You just reveal the oh, top it's card. The top card. Okay. And then so it's worse than cascade. Well, it's just better. Well, it uh, if it's less less than, then you cast it. If it's not, you just draw it. So you oh, still you just still draw, draw it. it. Okay. Yeah. So there's still two front. Okay. Yeah. So, so that, no matter what, you you draw the card no matter what. That's sweet. Yeah. Um, if you were to play Rashmi as your commander, then I would definitely want every two mana accelerant. Exactly. So you can turn to get into Rashmi. It. Yep. Um, 
Yeah, my, the aggro deck I came up with was Sahili based and had like Vizier and Combat Celebrant and all these exert cards. Yeah, just, like, I like that. Yeah, Sahili keep exerting awesome. and then untap them with the Celebrant and, and try to go nuts that way. But uh, maybe I'll try that next time we brawl. I'll do Sahili aggro. But so, for now, uh, this mono black deck seems sweet. I mean, I was able to grind card advantage, play a ton of removal so that you never got your synergies going, and it'll get, it was just one pretty handily. And I think it's pr just a lot easier to build a monocolor deck. Like, right. I, I think you I have a lot up, less choices. I literally yeah. gathered every mono black card and every artifact in standard, mm -hmm. and got to the where the point where I only had to make maybe five cuts. So, do you think I should have like pull for tomorrow? No, you're you're a creature deck. I'm like, I don't even think you should have like glimmer of genius unless you're energying. Yeah. Uh, a lot, which I think you should be doing. So, at which point you should have Glimmer. Um, like, I don't think you should have strategic planning. Right. Definitely not search. Charter Core seems fine because you're creature. -y. You'll be able to just draw two cards and it's cheap. I love this card. Yeah, I think it's great. Uh, there, there's Beast another. Fury. There's another one that I saw too. That's uh, just one mana. Give your creature hexproof. The blue one. Uh, dive down. Plus no, not dive down. There's a. There's a green one. There's a green one also. But I guess there is. Yeah. 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 So I, I love Tender Shoot Dryad. I think that's great. Yep. Yeah, um, that card's great. I really think this card's really underrated too. I really do. Because yeah, that seems very it's good. Power toughness are each equal twice the number of creatures you control. Yeah. So That's, like it's, it's pretty easy to make the thing. Right. So like whenever you have to do thirty, you know, like it's it also it's, combos with Ronus, so I like yeah. that. But I, I would like to get like Bristling Hydra in the deck and as many energy cards as I could. Obviously, you don't get to play a tune in Rogue Refiner, which kind of sucks. I hope that we get the Scare of God and Hazret just banned as commanders. By the way. Yeah, I could definitely see that happening. <laughs> Well, there's not there's not much uh, more time for them to be in the format anyway, but um, yeah, true. But yeah, so like they may just let them go because it's only a couple months, you know. Yeah, and I bet most play groups will just be like, no. Yeah, and if you're multiplayer, I, I could definitely see Hazard probably not even that good in multiplayer. right because yeah, because you're or multiplayer right because thirty life you can just play like Carry Zev or Chandra. Like Chandra is yeah. probably like just as good as Hazard. As Chandra is probably better in multiplayer. Hazard's probably better one on one. Yeah, well, with the new rules with Dominaria, Chandra used to be amazing in multiplayer because the the plus two was like I think it dealt so it, it didn't do to multiple. It either did it to multiple opponents or you could just redirect to like Planeswalkers, but you can't you can't plus and do two and redirect to. I wonder if it did each opponent. It might have done each opponent. I don't remember. Anyway, I don't anyway, have to look at the card. Anyway, yeah, Entrancing sweet. Melody, Rivers Rebuke. I should have gone up to those big blue spells. Yeah. I didn't. I tried to go a little See, lower, but I should have gone with the big you, blue. You just, you just went. You bit off so stuff, much. Yeah, yeah, you're trying so much. You got to look through two different it's colors. The first video ever made, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're right. If I, if I was just like mono blue, I'd be like, oh hey, I need to play these cards. You know, that's yeah. the. Oh yeah, the I definitely want colors. to try out just mono blue brawl counter spells card draw. There's so many good Re things. Wreck you, yeah. There's yeah, just so many. Yeah, Torrential Hulk and just have just at turn it. Just all loot. Like, you don't even need much card advantage. You just get to loot every turn when yeah, you counter, counter their spell. <laughs> yep. They can't ever beat a Carnage Tyrant, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. They literally just can't beat that card. Uh, I guess you, you have your one commit. <laughs> yeah, you got to commit it when it's on the stack. That's your plan. And then, like, have, yeah, have to, like, maybe feel the ruin them or something and make them shuffle uh, it yeah, away. I, I don't know. Can't, re can't really beat a Carnage Tyrant, but... Yeah. That, that deck seems fun. I tried to build a SRAM deck, but there just aren't good auras and equipment. In mon like, you have to be mono there's light. Not, yeah, there's not enough auras at all. Yeah. Except all the auras are like the things you were playing against me in standard, like the the Thopter yeah. RS and Baffling it, or Thopter RS. Yeah, all the like enchantments, that. and those yeah. aren't auras. Like You can play some pacifisms and just use the SRAM as like a card, right, that's card advantage enough. engine when you remove their stuff. Maybe that's good. Um, I also think if you're green, you probably want a main deck artifact removal, by the way. Most decks are going to have four, five, six artifacts at least. Yeah, ex especially Dissenter's Deliverance. That was definitely uh, one that I was looking at. Deliverance where he has the cycling, has cycling one. Cycling. Yeah. Thrashing Brontodon because it's just yeah, a creature. Yeah, Brontodon's just really Brontodon's nice. Brontodon's probably a staple of green decks. Yep. Um, there are some options. So yeah, where you don't have where it doesn't have to be like a dead card if there's nothing there. Yeah, I was a little worried. That was one of the things that worried me about Mono Black is not having ways to deal with our, with opposing artifacts. Like th this would have been a tough card. Yep. Uh, if that came down early, the Bestiary. But overall, pretty happy with my deck. Um, I guess it, like maybe the modules aren't worth it. Uh, I was hoping to be able to try this out. I just wanted another mm -hmm. cheap artifact. It, like it's a removal spell, especially in long games. It'll be good, um, and it, it can help improvise once I find if I find Statuary or Herald. I'm sad I didn't get to Statuary. I think that's this is just a, one of the best cards in this deck because then like suddenly you just generate so much extra mana. Right. All right. So that's us. That was a uh, first look into Brawl here. Um, yeah. On the Versus series. Uh, Victorious. Yep. 3 Victorious. to 2. <sighs> Ross finally got there. <sighs> First losing... time you've beaten me in a Versus video. Yeah, series. we've been playing the nonsense 
mini masters. Okay. Now yeah. that we finally Excuses. get to like instruct it, we have to build our own decks. Yeah. Win very easily. Yeah. Well, I'll get I'll I'll get it next time. Yeah, you'll you'll learn. Yep. You'll come come at me with the the Rashmi deck next time. Yeah, there we go. You're just gonna play the same deck over <laughs> and over again. Yeah, have it super tuned. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, that's it for us. So yeah. for Ross Merriam, I'm Todd Stevens, and thanks for watching the Verse series on StarCityGames.com. <laughs>